Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to draw this copy isometric. Now if you see in this, length is 90 plus 30, that is 120. Width is 60 and height is 60. See this, 90 plus 30, 120. 60. And this is 60. 50 plus 10. Right? So 120, 60, 60. First we will draw layout. After that we will start with the circle. See this, diameter 60. So we'll take 60, 60 rhombus. Then we use four center method. What we will do, we will mark midpoint. Midpoint on both the sides. You can do on all four sides. You can draw longest diagonal. Then from this corner, you can join opposite midpoint. This is point 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you take 1 to M. This is M. Take 1 to M and draw arc. Same way, from 2 we can draw. Keep the same radius or you can write m m over here also then 4 to m you draw radius same with the 3 to m three to m you can draw arc so this way you have completed the outer one. Now if you see there is one more circle which is diameter 40. So again you, get, you can take midpoint. You get a center point. So from center point you mark 20, 20, 20, 20. And you draw rhombus. After that, see in this case longest diagonal is almost done. So again you join midpoint to the opposite corner. Let's say this is 5, 6. This is longest diagonal, 7, 8. So again you take phi to m midpoint you draw arc same way from there 6 you draw arc then from 7 7 to m right and 8 to m So we are done with diameter 40. We can draw axis line. After that we will draw this radius 15 which is at a height of 25. So take a midpoint. You go up by 25. Now how much is this? If you see, this total is 30. So from center you take 15, 15. You draw a line like this. Again from center you mark 15, 15. And you draw a parallel line. So you will get a rhombus. After that, you draw longest diagonal.
let's say this point is 1 2 m m So from 1, 1 to M, we will draw arc, 3 to M, we will draw another arc, after that diameter 20, so again we can mark from point, center point 10, 10, 10, 10, we will draw rhombus, this point would be 4, 5. So again, we will take 4 to M, so draw curve from 4 to M and 5 to M. Now draw this line dark, draw straight, see this 50 plus 10 60. So what we need to do, we need to take this point 2 down by 60. Fifty and sixty both, right? So we'll take point two down by fifty as well as sixty. Now we'll take two to this radius. It's called copy paste. We'll take this radius. We'll go down by fifty first, and we'll draw arc. And again sixty. Then from point four also we'll go down. How much will go down? 60. I can write this as 4 dash. This previous point as 2 dash. 2 dash. So take 4 to M. This radius. Copy paste. Go down and paste on 4 dash. Then we join this tangent, this height is 10, so I can take 10 from here and draw another tangent. Then this tangent, this is 10 mm in width. You can join this rib like this, taking 5-5 five five on both the sides, then draw a vertical line, wherever it will cut with that circle. See this one. Then you will take this 25, inner circle. 25. See this point. We'll go down by 25. That is point 4. 4 dash I'm writing. So take 4 to M. 4 dash. Again you can draw arc.
then again we can take 0.5 down by 15 25 by 10 phi dash take this radius go down by 15 draw arc and you draw tangent after that draw this line and this line so we are done with this sum now we need to do labeling and dimensioning labeling in the sense o 30 30 and do length width and height thank you